Hello there, and welcome to episode 252 of my series where I aim to play Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, I will play the maps of each and every single one of Norway's 356 communes to a GeoGuessr score of 25,000 points each. Today, we have made it to the commune of Frongen. Frongen is located on the Oslofjord, on the east side of it. It's just a quick hop outside the city and uh, effectively is, well, I wouldn't say it's a suburb, but uh, it's more like it is It is a separate town. And, uh, well, or rather the main place in Frongen, Drebak, is a separate town on its own. And it's pretty much the place where everyone in, in Frongen lives. There's a few people scattered around, uh, but uh, by and large, they all live in Drebak. And Drebak means uh, the the uh, the long hill and uh, yeah it is a long hill of a town coming up from the sea and up to the plains above so some a lot of agricultural land in the south woods in the north and uh well and then we got e134 running through here which is notorious for its subsea tunnel where trucks come to burn and they uh, keep breaking when they're going downhill and Sometimes their brakes catch fire. Now, that makes for interesting driving. So they learned a lot about subsea tunnels after they built this tunnel. One of them being, don't make them so steep. I've been through this tunnel and it is steep. I've also been to Drebok, a nice little town, but I don't really know the area. So without further ado, let's have a look at some facts about Drebok and then get on with the game. Did I say Drebok? I meant Frong. Easy to say Drebok instead of Frongen when pretty much everyone lives in Drebok, but the commune is called Frong. Let's see what's in Frong. And we immediately are in Drebok. And I think I remember this hill. So, welcome to old Drebok, it says here. And then down there's the fjord. Yeah, I remember this hill. So, this is on the main way or on the main road into town. But uh, let's see, so are we, are we like here at the Holmosen Terrace? Let's see, what does it say over there? Yes, it says Holmosen Terrace, huh? Okay, and uh, looking north, we're looking at this thing. So we should be, let's see, we should be about here, I think. Seems likely. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now you are being a little too impetuous. Let's put it there. Let's see, I'm supposed to be a bus stop here. Mm, no, it's just. Let's see, I'm just gonna make sure. Absolutely sure. Now yeah, this is good. Mhm. Mm right. Uh, not in Drebok. Okay, let's see. Should we go north or should we go south? Let's go north. Northeast. Okay, there's quite a few of the maps in this region that they have gone with the car in winter. And I really don't like that because everything just looks so drab when the snow goes. Let's see. Is it possible to see what road we are on? Does it say the 78? Maybe. Let's see. Well, it doesn't really help, I think, because uh, it looks like olden roads here have got names instead of numbers. So. Yeah, that's not much help. 
so we'll have to figure it out some other way. But I guess we can't go very far in this area before we hit some roads with some information. Works both as a junction and a bus stop. Let's see. Let's check that again. Okay, so we've gone the wrong way, should have gone the other. It's two kilometers from here in that direction to where this road started. So let's let's go south instead then. Two kilometers is doable. Would have been worse if it was 15. <laughs> that would take a while. What does it say here? Okay, information on Arcus Hughes. So well, that's the old name on the region before it was merged with others. Okay, so basically we are we are just on the margins of the commune, it would seem. So here's a right. So this is a main road between Drebok and Fagerstrand, which is in near Southern Commune. And here we're coming up to the 152 and the what? Right. So this is between so 152 and the 134. And uh, let's see. So I guess now it's the 152. Hmm. This is not it. This is one fifty six. Uh, here's the one fifty two. Okay, so then we are here. And then they must have changed the layout of this crossroads. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, they must have made a they must have made a roundabout here. And then we'll go around the bend. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go around this bend as well. I'm not entirely convinced about this. But yeah, that barn fits. And then around this bend, where we find this little road, which is this one. And then we head up the road to where we were. Let's see. So we've come around. Yeah, what bend have we come around? Is this the bend? That sort of fits. So that should put us here. Methinks. Just want to find out about these houses. Which should be the ones that we... Yes, we have a house. Like so. Okay, so we are going to sit over here. Yep. Next one. On the sea, and we're looking north northeast to something. And I don't think we are in Drebok itself. Let's see what's Drebok again. Here's Drebok. Uh, because we don't have any thing looking like that. I thought it might be up here, but that doesn't ring true either. Uh, Okay, that's interesting. So why could this be then? I guess we could. No, that doesn't really rhyme. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I know where we are. No wonder I did I wasn't able to make sense of this right away. We are out here at Oskosburg, which has a certain historic significance in Norway due to the role it played during the German invasion in April 1940 when the batteries on this island opened fire against 
the German warship Blücher and sank it, thus enabling the royal family and the government to escape. Let's see, so I guess we're looking at that house down there. In this house over there because there's no other buildings until we were moving around here was rather weird and there's no other buildings for a little while so let's see hmm looking northeast we're looking like so hereabouts I would say it's a pathway going down that way and that doesn't show oh well gonna try that good and it's winter time again not not sure this is the same road we were on Let's just move in the same direction and see where we'll wind up. And okay, so this is called Ulnes Road. Yet again in winter. <laughs> Watch out for me. Mm. Ulnes Road and Lisa Lena. That doesn't. Oh, it is a. Uh, it's kind of weird. That was written in all capitals. Usually they use lowercase. Except for the first letter. And now we go north. What does it say here? Okay, so that's a practice track for drivers. Go northeast. Didn't we go south to Stanford? Start. Now um, go northwest and west. This is a Wrigley one. A really Wrigley one. Still no sign where we are. Hmm. And why do they keep shooting this in the middle of late winter? It appears to be. Well, the snow has been hanging around for ages and it's just basically, well, we call it rotting on the ground. Now we're going southwest. I did not know there was such extensive, well, whatever you want to call it, woodlands just outside the capital to the south. I know to the north there's a lot of woods, but I wasn't aware of it at this end of the place. Let's see, is that, uh, it has a proper crossroads. So we're on 157 and this one leads to Guard, that is called the Guard Road. This is Okay, wholesale. Right, so constructors market. So the 157 was up here, wasn't it? I think. Come on, here's the 157. Hmm. That's around the far north, isn't it? And Fargeston is not part of this commune. That's interesting. Oh, wait a minute! Here's the road. Yeah, then this and this is sort of a sort of weirdly shaped commune, and this one sort of have this bit jutting up of north here. So here's the test track, a practice track, and here's where we are right now. So may we have been over here? Let's see, so we're looking north and it's we're on the 
happened. So it could be here. Uh, quite likely. Ooh, this is going to be the hard one. There's a building over there. Well, I guess there's a building there. That is probably it. Let's see, we've got some houses over here. That thing. <coughs> it's probably that one. I would say. I'm looking pretty much like so. I did it. Try there. Noise. And another back road for our final. No idea which way to go here. Let's see, well this is the sort of place that could wind up on a major road before long. If I go in the right direction, I don't know if I am. Okay, onwards up into fields. So this, this is south of Trebok. Huh. Well, here they sell honey. Now we go north. How long will we be stuck on this lane between the fields? Weaving its way along the farms, and not a single sign, not even with, ro with the name of the road. Hmm. This might take a while, and I'm having a feeling again that I've gone the wrong way. Uh, let's see, so here's the Sulberg Road, Neva, and that is Commercial Development Park. Let's see, here's the crossroads. There we are. Okay. So we can get to Vestby onto the 152. And there's the border to Vestby. Let's see, Vestby, Frongen, and Which coming are we coming into? Yes, if that is Westby and that is Frongen, then this needs to be Ors, doesn't it? <coughs> Let's see. Could we be here? No. Let's see, what was the name of that road again? It was called Sul something. The Sulberg Road. So now this one has gone westwards-ish. Here's Sulberg. Here's the Sulberg Road. Right. And for once it seems I picked the right road. Okay, no, this is the Norwegian Institute of Water Research. There we go. Not an industrial development park. Mm, let's see, so I'm looking north. And then some wriggly bits. Like here, for instance. Maybe, possibly. Let's see, so we got a few houses there, I think. Didn't we? So we got quite the wriggly bit. Could of course be here. Although we're missing a substantial number of buildings. Go 
og náð og neyð þess að sýja. Reis skorki var í fallum í sýjum. And Vald brunn að ramma gór. Wait, 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 wait. Where is this? That. This is what we're at now. Yep, that's this road. So that should mean we're here, shouldn't it? Yep, that's that. So we have just made it around the bend. We should be about here. Should be within. There we go. Took a little while. I wasn't aware that the common went all the way up there. But yeah, I think that was a nice little cross section of the place, though. I wouldn't like to have uh, had at least one or two more tries down in Drebok. But yeah, overall, quite happy with that. So that is episode 252 in the bag. And, uh, and Frongen. Let's get that right. Frongen. Done. Check in tomorrow for episode 253. Until then, bye bye.